Hi guys, welcome to PSN SAP FICO channel. Today I am going to explain how to create the purchase requisition, purchase order, against purchase requisition, you can create the purchase order. After that, you can create the MIGO and MIRO. MIGO is a invoice goods receipt entry and MIRO is a accounting entry, invoice entry, F110 payment run automatic payment run to dme uh, let me start purchase requisition guys for purchase requisition t code is me 51 and let me start me 51 n Yeah, see guys, here I'm going to expand header and item over here. Preparing the PR for raw material. Yes. Uh, item item number 10 material rm we need to take a material code rm30 uh, quantity is 25 unit is 10 25 ton uh, delivery date is today dates guys plant is my plant code is Sorry. Yeah, my plan for this twenty twenty. And I'm going to give in a storage location RM zero one for raw material and purchasing group. My purchasing group is two zero one. I think. Let me check. Yeah, 204 purchasing group. Yeah. Here I am going to request here my name. Here you can select the vendor code. Yeah, company code under this company code. How many vendors are there? List it will come. So here yeah, I am going to select the anyone vendor code sorry guys unit is empty metric pen let me check yeah, see guys no message yes, issues during list during check let me save the data yeah see guys here purchase requisition number has been created copy this number This is my purchase requisition number. Now I am going to create purchase order. Me twenty one and see guys item number. Now already I have given within purchase requisition right all those details so here i am going to select my purchase requisition number only based on that it will come see guys here it is sorry guys 
for this vendor don't have the purchase organization I didn't assign the purchase organization okay now I'm going to select another vendor this vendor is having purchase organization okay sorry I'm going to select yeah see guys 60,000 vendor is there okay now nothing issues are there this is just warning message you can ignore this um, see guys already I maintained the price within material master so based on that price it will pick here also and payment terms here I said whatever commission types are there you see guys 3000 USD okay no sorry this is my purchase requisition number here I am going to give in the purchase organization and I am removing this because this vendor is not purchase or under purchase organization 60,000 vendor is available see guys can delivery date there is no issues are there now I am going to save ok ignore this save it see guys standard purchase order created under the number can you save this number here I am going to paste it ok now I am going to new entry goods receipt entry here I am going to enter the PO number see guys actually we are having the PO quantity is 25 metric ton now but uh, I have received the goods receipt only 15 ton only remaining 10 ton next vehicle they will send so but currently I am receiving 15 ton only so uh, based on that I am making the entry uh, delivery note invoice number so and so anything you can mention it quantity 15 ton here also I am going to 15 ton see guys here I am going to mention the 15 ton actual quantity I have received the 15 ton only if you have received 10 ton you can mention 10 ton if you have received 25 and also you can mention here 25 ton based on it it will calculate only now I am going to check see guys you have not flagged any item okay. uh, here I want to mention item ok material rm does not exist warehouse and uh, we are getting some error let me check once again let me try guys item ok only 15 ton actual quantity received 15 ton only check yeah see guys here I am getting an error what exactly that material rm30 does not exist in warehouse ind diagnosis 
all the material that use within a warehouse number must also be defined for this warehouse number the material you are using is not defined in your procedure if you want to use material within your warehouse number you must create the material in the material segment for that warehouse number mm, let me check guys warehouse where i actually i didn't assign the warehouse to our plant someone has been made changes see guys here my enterprise structure assignment i think um, shipping point not here here i think let me check my plant 2020 yeah see guys here someone has made changes for this plant code yeah but it's not happen real time but it is a testing version that's why happening someone has ch made changes assigned to my plant to warehouse uh, but i don't want to warehouse for this time so i am going to delete my plant to warehouse let me back now i have done the changes uh, let me try again guys once again refresh it me go and we will enter my po number any noise received a quantity is 15 ton quantity is 15 ton only yeah check see guys now i'm going there is nothing issues are there now that error has been gone why because we didn't uh, delete the plant warehouse assignment mm, now we are getting this document and now i am going to the invoice entry accounting entry my row previous in mego what we have done just we entered the quantity only goods received in this we are going to mention the amount value accounting entry reference number i'm going to leave it here i'm going to mention po number this f4 here are you getting what our pos are in the pending yeah, let me check guys already here it is Yeah, see guys, in Migo, how much quantity we entered? Fifteen ton. That's why here also it come fifteen ton only. Yeah, um, I'm going to enter the value. How much value, guys? Eighteen hundred dollar. Here I'm going to mention eighteen hundred. Again, I'm getting. Yeah, see guys, error here. I want to zero yeah, percent input. Yeah, tax produce your code two thousand. Yeah, see guys, now error has gone. Now I am going to simulate. Yeah, see guys, now it's not a reason. Yes. Yeah, see guys, here it is. for that particular vendor vendor has been credited 1620 dollar tds table aid net dollar grir account gets 1800 dollar this is the perfect entry now i am going to post see guys that is the accounting entry if you want to display you can select here display and it is showing here it is if you want to accounting entry 
whatever you want you can see here follow on documents see guys here it is profit center why because the airport profit center it will come automatically within a raw material i assign the profit center so that's why it will pick and tds also actually what happened i have done the tds configuration also previously so here i assigned a within vendor master with holding tax tds also that's why it's pick automatically this is the exact entry if you want to see anything here you can see which user has made this entry in real time if you want to check user details you can check here user details uh, see here, here it is created by and t code also myro in my row transaction code we did this entry in document type rn invoice net like that it happened yeah okay guys now we have done the purchase requisition purchase requisition against purchase order based on the purchase order we created the mego goods receipt entry and after that we created the invoice entry this is the FIMM process so you guys let me check underline items See guys here it is entry has been done successfully for particular vendor 1620 remaining amount has been we need to pay the TDS amount see guys here I assigned the withholding tax type that's why it speak automatically uh, actually I mentioned the 10% based on that it will take Thank you guys, thank you for watching my channel, could you please subscribe my channel also, thank you, I will come next session with DMB configuration and APP configuration also, one session I will take APP configuration, after that I am going to explain you guys DMB configuration, why because it takes a lot of time for DMB configuration, so I am going to take uh, next Sunday. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Thanks.